Hi folks, my name's Joe Patterson. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Let's visit real quick, because I'm headed to the city to grab a few materials. I'd like to visit with you about an emotional, are you an emotional wreck? An emotional wreck. Not at all to make fun. Not at all to make light or mock. Not at all. Let's visit real quick. This is a serious matter. So many people these days especially. Here it's April, almost the last of April 2022. And people are an emotional wreck. Now, they're not just any kind of people, okay? We're not talking about Luciferians, Satan worshipers, or, you know, um, um, you know, unbelieving type folk. I'm talking always about people who confess Christ Jesus as Lord, as King, who always need prayer when someone's sick or ill. Please pray, pray, thoughts and prayers, all the stuff. Emotional wreck. Are you an emotional wreck? Up and down you go. Every day, up and down. You don't never know what night will bring. Night brought downhearted feelings. I'm <clears throat> hope deferred. I was hoping I'd get this raise at my job. I was hoping I'd get this house cleaned up. I was hoping I'd get supper made at a certain time. I was hoping that my husband would be home and he's not. And I was hoping my kids would be good and they're not. And, and you know, your hope is constantly being deferred and, 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 you're up and down. You're an emotional wreck. You don't know why you're upset, but you are. You're just upset. I'm just crying. I'm, I can't quit crying. I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. Um, I'm depressed. Uh, life didn't turn out like I thought it would. Um, I'm not happy. I'm overweight. My skin is starting to get uh, wrinkled. Um, you know, I'm, there's, a, there's a, just a million things to be an emotional wreck about. Just totally distraught, always looking at something or somebody or something or something happened or something should have happened it didn't happen and whoo, see what I'm saying? Then this little voice, small voice comes fluttering in like a butterfly on the breeze, a butterfly dancing on the wind. It's a beautiful soft breeze in the midst of flowers and this still small voice says do not worry cast all your cares on me says Jesus cast all your cares on him folks listen if you are an emotional wreck if you go to the world, to the sciences, to the doctors, they will prescribe to you medications for bipolar, for all kinds of mental illnesses, ADHD. Everybody goes around saying, I have these things, but there's no cure. There's a symptom treater, but no cure. <clears throat> See, Jesus <clears throat> is a cure. What makes Jesus a cure is you don't have to, you're not the rest of your life having to take a pill. The rest of your life, you don't have to keep taking medicine because Jesus heals you and you are free. Let me tell you what he promises you. If you will serve him, if you will come to know him and love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, he promises you a sound mind. A sound mind. Folks, this is scriptural. Google it. Look it up. Where in the Bible does it talk about a sound mind? There you go. Look at it that way. I'm not someone to always quote book, chapter, verse. But I will share with you what I know. And I will quote the scripture as the Holy Spirit gives it to me. And I would ask you and charge you to consider that you are an emotional wreck because you are out of balance with God. Therefore, you have forsaken God for what? For your life. You are caught up in the way of the world. The way of trouble. Jesus said, not me. He, Jesus said, in me there is peace. See, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. But he said, in the world there is trouble. See, Satan is the God of the world that you live in. The whole world is under the control of the devil. God says. So when you are taking on the burdens of the world, your looks, 
your weight. Your husband doesn't help do anything. Your wife refuses to, to be with you, husband, in, in, a, in a way that's intimate. Your wife doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't look on you anymore like she used to. And your kids can't stand you. And, and all of life is terrible. And your mother, and you're becoming just like her. And you never wanted to be. And you're becoming like your dad's son. And you, you didn't want to be. And all this stuff starts hitting on you. You become an emotional wreck. And Jesus is calling you out of those cares, out of the world, out of the way that stumbles mankind into a way that's life everlasting, where there's peace, where there's understanding and solidness of mind. What haven't you done? You've stopped seeking the Lord. You've got to seek Him as hidden treasure. Are you seeking God as hidden treasure? Are you, are you laying up His Word? Are you putting it in the precious treasure box of your heart? Do you covet it above anything, above air, above breath? Do you, do you know what Jesus taught and then you do it? Is your faith dead because it has no work? Are you loving your enemies? Are you blessing those that curse you? Or are you cursing everyone who curses you and expecting the world to treat you with goodness and kindness? Are you demanding mercy from people who know not mercy? Is your hope constantly being deferred because your hope is in other things and not God alone? Anyway, if you can hear this, my friends, this is the truth. If you are an emotional wreck, you have forsaken the way of the Lord. And you are confused of what's causing the trouble. I would charge you in the name of the Lord Jesus to return to the Lord. Come back to Him soft and humble and broken. Cry out to God. If you have to quit your job so that you can seek the Lord, then quit your job <laughs> and seek the Lord. Let nothing hinder you from your relationship with God. You can't possibly have a relationship with Christ Jesus if you don't know what He taught and if you're not putting it into practice. You have no relationship with Him. Do you understand? I didn't say it. Jesus did. He said, Why do you say to me, Lord, Lord, and don't do what I say? In order to do what He says, you have to know what He says. And if you know what He says, then you have to do it. And our Father in Heaven is faithful to make us grow. Grow how? Grow in peace. Grow in contentment with godliness and holiness and kindness and gentleness and love and, and self-control and self-discipline and a sound mind. We are then given over to a sound mind, a mind like Christ. Anyway, I pray you can hear this. Are you an emotional wreck? And the biggest question I think of this uh, video, do you want to be free from it? Do you want to be an emotional wreck? Have you gotten used to it? Have you fallen in love with your trouble? Have you fallen in love with your depression? Has it become who you are? If you want out, Christ Jesus offers the way out. I always say to people, our fellowship, we long to gather with people of like faith. Unified in love, we learn to build relationships in love. I'm going to be careful from now on when I invite people into our fellowship and to come to know us that we are relationship builders. We are not people who rush to judgment, who are harsh and heavy-handed on people spiritually. We give people time to grow just as we get time to grow in Christ. But we don't put up with... Uh, people that have attitudes that reflect Satan. Uh, people that have attitudes that are gossips and backminders, all those things. So if you're looking for fellowship with people who truly believe the Lord God and love Him as King and have made Him King and who, who long to know what He teaches and put it into practice, give me a call. Message me. Okay, Get on my, my channel here and, and make a comment. I check my comments often. I don't. I don't. Every comment gets examined, and then if you become a friend to this uh, ministry here, then I will uh, put you on a way that your comments are not uh, blocked, and and you'll they'll go on immediately. But uh, if you enjoy order, 
uh, our fellowship loves order. Uh, and we're very small in number, and yet we long to gather with the saints of Christ. So if you want to uh, walk free with the Lord and you are looking for fellowship, give me a call, uh, give me a message, and I will get a hold of you. Until next time, Brother Joe, on Are You an Emotional Wreck?